Linda Sarsour is fighting back after being criticized for calling for jihad against President Trump and his administration. During a speech she gave at the Islamic Society of North America convention, she said, And I hope that we, when we stand up to those who oppress our communities, that Allah accepts from us that as a form of jihad, that we are struggling against tyrants and rulers, not only abroad in the Middle East or in the other side of the world, but here in these United States of America where you have fascists and white supremacists and Islamophobes reigning in the White House. Although Sarsour clearly called for a nonviolent form of jihad and anyone who suggests otherwise is being intellectually dishonest, hearing the co-chair of the Women's March on Washington call for jihad against the Trump administration was triggering, to say the least. America has an ugly history with jihad. For millennials like myself, 9-11 was the defining moment of our generation. On that day, 19 terrorists used jihad to justify the killing of 2,977 innocent people. Instead of acknowledging this, or even being sensitive to the fact, Sarsour doubled down, writing in the Washington Post that it's our fault for misunderstanding what jihad really means. Most disturbing about this recent defamation campaign is how it is focused on demonizing the legitimate yet widely misunderstood Islamic term I used, jihad, which to a majority of Muslims and according to religious scholars means struggle or to strive for, she wrote. This term has been hijacked by Muslim extremists and right-wing extremists alike, leaving ordinary Muslims to defend our faith and in some cases, silenced. If Sarsour is so concerned about reclaiming that term, she might consider starting by approaching the Washington Post, where she strategically chose to publish her response. 15 years after 9-11, the jihadist threat looms larger than ever across the globe, reads one headline in the Post. From US, the ABCs of jihad, reads another. The Islamic State creates a new type of jihadist, part terrorist, part gangster. In all of these articles, not once do the journalists mention the alternative, peaceful meaning of the term jihad. And yet, it is right-wing extremists who are at fault for hijacking the term. If Sarsour wants to have a theological debate about the true meaning of jihad, she's blessed with the platform to start it. But in using this term during that speech, that's not what she intended to do. A smart, educated activist Sarsour knew that calling for jihad against our president would be inflammatory. And then she went one step further. She blamed us for being offended. Well, here's an idea. When you purposely try to provoke people, don't claim victim status when you succeed. Linda Sarsour, I pray that when I raise children of my own, they'll have to only know about the peaceful side of jihad of which you so fondly speak. But in a day and age where Islamist terrorist attacks happen so regularly, we as Americans have no choice but to view jihad as an ugly, violent, and painful part of our own personal experience.